Now, for our listeners, I, I, I hear uh, uh, many folks saying, you know, Dr. Wallace, you have this amazing story, amazing recovery, but like who else has recovered from profound disability? I, I think it's just you and maybe your doctor screwed up. Maybe you didn't really have MS. You know, I'm still hearing that, that craziness. So I, I think it'll be super helpful for the listeners to hear what have you guys seen in the MS? You know, uh, what kind of improvement and like how long might this journey to improved function take? We've seen some really inspiring you know, stories and examples of success. I'll, I'll mention one just published study. We have a case series that was published in 2020, 23 or 24, a case series looking at seven MS patients and functional recovery, seeing improvements in spasticity and strength and uh, walking distances and walking speeds and things like that. So, so you know, some, some good published data there. We also had another- oh, oh, Hang on, for the listeners, we're talking published in peer reviewed scientific journals. Yes. So uh, I wanna make that very clear, peer reviewed scientific journals uh, followed patients prospectively with these interventions. That's a really big deal. Now back to you. Yes, thank you for emphasizing that, Dr. Walls. And we had another another published in early 2025. Uh, this was a randomized control trial with 150 diabetic neuropathy patients, polyneuropathy patients, peripheral neuropathy patients, and so a slightly different population, but similar mechanism in terms of there is some degeneration of nervous system tissue of axons and myelin. And we saw using the direct current of the newbie, actually this was cool, 